Tuna Maps. This is a, a very nice uh, visual way of simplify, simplifying the fu uh, logic functions. So let's assume that we have a two input, just two variable logic function. So you have only A and B. So if you have a if you had a truth table for this, you would have four combinations. And this would be related to zero, 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 one, two, and three in terms of mean terms. So M0 would be A not B not M1 is A not B M2 A B not and M3 is A B. Let's consider that you're, you're putting this into a table. Since there are four, you will have four cells for this. And I'm going to say this side is going to be related to A and this side is going to be related to B. So A can be 0 or 1, B can be 0 and 1. So 0, 0 is your A not B not, which is your M0, mean term 1. A0, B1 is your M1. A1, B0 is your M2 and finally this is your M3. So if I had a function, let's say only two inputs A and B, we can say that, we can show it this way, let's say it's the function is the, min, the sum of mean terms 0 and 3. This would mean a not B not or A B and the way how you would show this in a in a map you would have the same chart again A B zero one zero one A not B not which is zero A so zero so let's do it this way. So this term it's zero and zero. So you would put a one here. And then for A B, which is your mean term three, one one, so you would put a one here. You wouldn't necessarily put your, your zeros, so only you put your ones and when you look at this table you can say that this is a not b not or a b so this is for a two input variables uh, a logic system you can have three or four so I'm gonna show you three here and we're gonna discuss four and later For three, you have eight combinations. So let's say the function, we can put it A and B here and C here. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. It's going to be 0, 1. This is very important that you put 1, 1 here. not at the end. So this way you can see that from one cell to other cell, the adjacent cells, there is only one bit changing. From here to here you see B is changing, from here to here A is changing and from here to here again only B is changing. That is a key point 
for using Carnot, uh, Carnot maps or K maps for simplification that we're going to discuss later. So with this table, uh, this would be a not b not c not a not b c not a b c not a b not c not and then a not b not c a not b c a b c and a b not c this is the way how we would form a three variable Carnot map.